Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. On behalf of Ryan and Chrissy, we welcome you here this, to this most important moment in the lives of this couple. We invite you to leave behind the worries and concerns of everyday life and join us in the celebration of their marriage. Marriage is an institution of divine appointment and is commended as honorable among all people. It is the most important step in life and should not therefore be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but discreetly and soberly. In this state, these two persons come now to be joined. If any person present can show cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let them speak now or else hereafter forever hold their peace. Ryan and Chrissy, I solemnly require and charge you both as you have for joy and peace in the married state. If either of you know why any just cause why you may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, you do now confess it. <laughs> Who presents this woman in marriage? I do. Repeat after me. I, Ryan, take you, Chrissy, I, Ryan, take you, Chrissy. to be none other than yourself. I promise to stand by your side, to encourage you, to be faithful, open, and honest with you, to laugh with you, and cry with you to always love and honor you, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, or as long as we both shall live. <laughs> Chrissy, please repeat after me. I, Chrissy, take you, Ryan, to be none other than yourself. I promise to stand by your side, to encourage you, to be faithful, open, and honest with you, to laugh with you, and cry with you, to always love and honor you, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, for as long as we both shall live. What token of your devotion do you offer your beloved? May I have the rings, please? May these rings be blessed as a symbol of this affectionate unity. The wedding ring is a symbol of married love. The precious metals show that your love is your most precious possession, and the unending circle symbolizes that your love may never cease. Ryan, as you place the ring on Chrissy's finger, please repeat after me. I, Ryan, give you, Chrissy, this ring. As a symbol of my love, I ask you to wear it as a sign to the world that you are my wife. With this ring, I be with. 
Chrissy, as you place the ring on Ryan's finger, please repeat after me. <coughs> I, Chrissy, give you Ryan this ring. I, Chrissy, give you Ryan this ring. As a symbol of my love. I ask you to wear it as a sign to the world that you are my husband. With this ring, I be with. These two lives are now joined in one unbroken circle. Wherever they go, may they always return to one another in their togetherness. May these two find in each other the love for which all men and women yearn. May they grow in understanding and in compassion. May the home which they establish together be such a place of sanctuary that many will find there a friend. May these rings on the fingers symbolize the touch of the spirit of love in the heart. Ryan and Chrissy, do you promise to do all in your power to build a safe and happy home together? That you laugh every day and tell each other how much you love each other because no one can ever hear that too much. Inasmuch as Ryan and Chrissy have consented together in marriage this evening and have pledged their faith and declared in their unity by each giving and receiving a ring and are now joined in mutual esteem and devotion, I, as an ordained minister of the Universal Life Church, pronounce that you are husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. ceremony. In the more elegant days, flowers were used as a means of communication. Each flower had a special meaning. In the old language of flowers, a single red rose always meant I love you. The rose ceremony gives recognition to the new and most honorable title of husband and wife. This ceremony originates in a classic rose ceremony from a lost and elegant age. Though the words of the classic rose ceremony long ago lost, this ceremony was rewritten by Honorable Mark Stewart, explaining the true meaning of the ceremony in ways that can endure through your married life together. This is a unique and meaningful addition to any marriage ceremony and also inspires your guests. Your gift to each other for your wedding today has been your wedding ring, which will always be an outward demonstration of your vows of love and respect and a public showing of your commitment to each other. You now have what remains the most honorable title, which may exist between a man and a woman, the title of husband and wife. For your first gift as husband and wife, that gift will be a single rose. In the past, the rose was considered the symbol of love, and a single rose always meant only one thing. It meant the words, I love you. So it is appropriate that on your first gift as husband and wife, that gift would be a single rose. In some ways, it seems like you have not done anything at all. Just a moment ago, you were holding one small rose, and now you are holding one small rose. In some ways, a marriage ceremony is like this. In some ways, tomorrow is going to seem no different than yesterday. But in fact, today, just now, you both have given and received one of the most valuable and precious gifts of life. One I hope you always remember and give of true and abiding love within the devotion of marriage. Ryan and Chrissy, I would ask that wherever you make your home in the future, whether it be a large and elegant home or a small and graceful one, that you both pick one very special location for roses, so that on each anniversary of this truly wonderful occasion, you both may take a rose to that spot and rep uh, recommitment to your marriage and recommitment that this will be a marriage based upon love. In every marriage, there are times when it is difficult to find the right words. It is easiest to hurt who you most love. It is easiest to most hurt by who we most love. It might be difficult sometimes to words to say, I am sorry, or I forgive you, I need you, or I am hurting. If this should happen,